Hi hey guys. Hello. So we're ready to start our today's session, the Twitter session. So please, Alexei, proceed. Yes. Uh, so okay? for, to, for today, I prepared a few issues. So let me share my screen. The first issue. Uh, the first issue is uh, about. Uh, Multiply arguments in module status command. Uh, as for now, module uh, status command uh, accepts only one param. But uh, for example, module enable and mod module disable accepts multiply module names as argument. So for now, we have if we uh, add a multiply, multiply param, we uh, got too many arguments error. And uh, PR has already been created for this issue. And after the fix, uh, we have the result like this. And possible to get uh, with multiply, multiply names as argument. I have a question. Uh, first one, is it like bug that Magenta is supposed to work with multiple arguments for this command, or it's just improvements that now allows to use multiple arguments? I think it's uh, more a uh, bug because um, the same as uh, the uh, module enable uh, console command and disable always accept multiple module, module names as uh, argument. But status, I think it's so if we try to disable module like model disable, we can, I don't yes. know, list multiple, we, but it doesn't work when we use status. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, we we can, uh, for example, bin magenta module enable and uh, several modules and uh, also disable, but for the status we can only one module. Yeah, in general, I, I, uh, I am personally not sure that it is a bug for me it looks like uh, more improvement uh, of course uh, it's good to align our command uh, to this uh, that uh, they work in the same way uh, but yeah for status we have as i know a bulk command that will uh, show uh, that sh show all uh, statuses of all modules uh, and uh, we have we can ability to check status for per each model uh, separately so for me, it's more looks like improvement uh, that is in a bug. But if we, we already have the pull request, uh, it's nice to have, and uh, we can leave this issue uh, leave this issue in Magento 2 repository. But in general, yeah, we also can move it to the feature request repository. Uh, yeah, and uh, according to priority and severity, uh, first of all, yeah, we have workaround. We can have we can check each model separately. Uh, in case if we need to check two or three models, it's not a problem. Uh, and also we can use uh, and a command uh, in CLI. I mean, uh, write PHP bin magenta model status uh, one model and uh, PHP bin magenta model status uh, second model is not too hard. So yeah, it's nice to have, but as for me, it's uh, P3 as four. Yeah, agree. Nice to have, and mostly like cosmetical issue probably improves some user experience, but doesn't block or block anything. Agree. P4 S3, yes. Versa uh, versa. P3 uh, S4. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next one is about bug with purchase order payment methods. For, so for uh, to reproduce this issue, issue, we should enable purchase order and uh, check and money payment methods, for example. And then uh, navigate to checkout page and proceed to payment step and uh, then expand the discount block section. After this, uh, we should change payment uh, to purchase order. 
and uh, error will add to discount section. As we can see from the video. We expanded apply discount code and when we change it to purchase order we got an error message which related to purchase order block I think. If I understood it doesn't uh, block order placing just some uninspected error message. Yes yes and it only occurs with purchase order payment method. Uh, I check it with uh, other payment methods uh, and we haven't this error message. I think um, cause <clears throat> because it happens only with this payment method that probably not like yeah, one yeah, of yeah, the yeah. top popular probably the priority and severity should be P3S3 and uh, only because it's checkout flow and could confuse user and customer who just um, i don't know face it such case i prefer yeah. to set severity three because yeah as so you say the, it's a checkout it's pretty important uh, but uh, uh, i mean a uh, uh, severity s2 but priority uh, p3 okay severity s2 priority Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm, the next one is uh, catalog price rule are not working with custom options as expected in Magento. So uh, to reproduce this issue, we should go to admin marketing catalog price rule and add new rule fill uh, all required fields and set, uh, for example, discount amount to 10%. And then uh, click on save and apply button. Uh, we also to create ample, uh, simple product, for example, with price 1000 bucks uh, with a drop down custom option size, for example, with options like small, medium, large, with price 100 to 100 and 500. And uh, go to storefront, open created before product, and uh, actual result is showing final price like a, a small 1,000, medium 1,100, and large 1,400. The expectation uh, that uh, the 10% discount on the total price uh, should calculate like a product price plus option price multiplied 10 percent and uh, the expectation is the small should have uh, 990 dollars uh, but for now it's calculating like product price uh, multiplied 10 percent and then plus option price and we have such result one thousand the expected uh, calculation should be like this so let me summarize at this moment 10% of discount applies only on base product yeah. so I'm a yeah. simple product uh, price and then just plus custom option yes 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 but expectation it should uh, product price plus option price and after that multiply 10% I think quite important situation, quite possible I mean, and probably priority should be P2. If I remember uh, this issue was previously, previously fixed probably, yeah. but uh, if I remember, don't okay. remember why it seems back again. Yeah, it was reverted. That, yeah, probably some regression bug. Yes. So it, it is. It, it was reopened. Right. Yeah. Yes. And there are confirmed issues. Oh, 
as for me, it looks like P1 because it's uh, related to the price. Price is the main thing say the e-commerce <laughs> as for me. So as, yeah, I don't know, but it looks like uh, any problem with the pricing is P1. What about the shopping cart? Uh, do we know if uh, in the shopping cart the price is placed correctly? Uh, it's a shopping cart. No, it's uh, also incorrect price. So at least if we have we... consistency, right? Yeah, yeah. If we add uh, to shopping cart, we, uh, the price still the same as product list, product, product page. So it seems the problem is that we don't apply a discount on a custom option uh, price, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. It only mm -hmm. applies for product based price. I guess uh, we need to double. I'm not sure that it's supposed to work in this way, so I'm not sure if we suppose that uh, uh, discount uh, should be applied for the custom option price as well, because custom option price can be like differently, or we know that it works before and it is broken right now. This issue already was fixed a few times, uh, uh, the guys mentioned. So mm -hmm. I, think I also had these questions, but it looks like uh, uh, the expected behavior to add discount to full price. Okay. So guys, about the working severity, as for me, it's P1, because yeah, it depends to the price. Uh, what I think. From my side, I agree. Sorry, guys, I was disconnected, just joined it, and probably I missed some part of <clears throat> discussion. Yes, Sergey, I said that uh, as for me, uh, all things uh, related to the price, uh, all bugs related to the price uh, should be uh, P1. Because it's yeah, main things in e-commerce, and it depends to money, to customer money, to business owner money. So as for me, it's P1. Yeah, what about the severity? As one as well. Okay. Severity one. Okay. Uh, the next one is a problem probably with uh, translation. So uh, the first of all, we should have, at, uh, for example, English and German locale. Uh, to reproduce this issue, we should create an order in an English store for default. And uh, then uh, we should change in admin account profile locale to German, for, for example. And uh, uh, we should go to the order created before in the backend and uh, resend the, email, the order email again. And as a result, we have that uh, United States, for example, in this case, uh, was translated. When we resend a mail from the German locale in admin panel, the expectation that uh, we sh that it should not be translated because order was created in uh, English from English store, English locale. But when when we change uh, locale in admin pan panel for user, the country was translated. When we are sent a mail, so it's effect only if we have multiple locale on storefront. Yes, I mean different languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And affect only one line related to country. Yes, yes, yes. Other lines not translated. Only country. 
I think we previously had something the same, probably not like e for email, but some for some other pages. I mean, uh, email content. And as I remember, we uh, evaluated like P3S3. What do you think, Wawa? So, uh, again, can you show the step to reproduce? So, we. Uh, yeah. uh, we cr create an uh, order from English yes. store, but uh, uh, then we go to admin panel and uh, change locale, uh, locale for German, for example, for admin account profile, profile mm -hmm. and uh, go to the uh, created before order in admin panel and uh, click on the recent. Uh, the order email button. No, we're so email. we place it order before. Yes, before we change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you were received. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm agree with P3. Uh, three. Uh, the next one is run current symbol in credit memo grip for adjustment refund and adjustment fee. So to reproduce this issue, we should create the second website with store and store view and uh, set another currency for the second website. In my case, it's euro. Uh, then go to stores, currency rates and set value for euro, for example like this. And uh, to reproduce this issue, we should create order in store view with different currency as configured and uh, go to backend sales order and uh, create an invoice and credit memo with adjustment refund and adjustment fee. For example, in this case, uh, five, ten, and ten dollars. And when we uh, uh, create credit memo, uh, then uh, we go to admin uh, and credit memo grid and a actual result is a wrong currency signal for adjustment. We have a uh, converted value but with incorrect sign. So we set 10 and 10 value and uh, converted to euro, but uh, the signs is still the same. Should so be the number euro is sign. correct. Yes, but only the yeah. sign. Yeah, yeah, the sign is still the same. I think no adjustment refund and adjustment fee. It's not like very popular. Uh, <clears throat> function is usually admin can use it or like sales manager can use it when he wants to return additional money by some circumstances some reason to the customer yeah. they want to like take it into consideration it's not like main refund or credit memo flow but sign incorrect for money it could be important so i think p3 s3 Yes, yeah, I agree. And Volodymyr, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with it. First of all, it's uh, not very often used use uh, functionality. I mean, uh, adjustment refund, and uh, also we show the correct numbers, uh, but uh, the problem just is signed, so mm, yeah, it's not so critical. So P3, S3 is okay for, for it. The last one, uh, allow multiply box for shipping setting, yes, cannot be saved. So to reproduce this issue, we should uh, open product for editing and uh, click advanced inventory and change allow multiply box for shipping setting to yes. And then click save button. Mm, actual result is settings is uh, not save it. 
So as we can see from the video, we go for a deed product, click on advanced inventory and allow multiply box for shipping and then save product but value was not saved. But, uh, but if we uh, enable uh, other option uh, from the list as such, if we enable quantity use decimals to yes, this uh, option also uh, can be uh, saved. Because I think uh, these two options have a dependency one from other. And I think the bug. So should not be a dependency between these two options. Uh, yes, from, from yeah. like functional flow, but it exists, and as a result, we cannot save just one of them. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Vice no, versa, yeah. versa, we should have this dependency, but we should we should show uh, for. Uh, Customers, uh, that, uh, yeah, yeah. That sorry. Uh, if we uh, enable uh, this option, quantity use decimals, we uh, are able to enable uh, other option too. If option, uh, if option uh, quantity use decimals no, and uh, we also uh, we also are not able to enable another option. So me, I'm not very familiar with this functionality. So maybe we should, uh, first of all, uh, get more details how it should be, because uh, currently I cannot give answer how it should be. Should these options be dependent, uh, or they, uh, and we need to just show that uh, they are dependent, uh, uh, or they should have separate uh, work separately without dependency. I cannot answer on this question. So, Sergey, do you know this functionality? How it probably we work? have something in comments that can prove. Let you scroll. Yes, let's quickly read. Yeah, if you set quantity of the commands to yes, it works. But. Yeah, it will be good to have mention under input field about dependency one of one option. Did did we check like documentation on DevDoc? Probably it's something. <clears throat> I also not familiar with the settings. From the first glance, I don't see any reason why they should be depend. But just want to be sure. Need to check like documentation about it, and if it's expected result, need to communicate and describe nuances to the guys. But if it's really issue, that should not be like should not be a relation. I think it could be like classic P3 S3. My thoughts. But anyway, need a double check from uh, like dev docs or probably from code perspective. Yeah, from my perspective, in a, any case, it P3 S3. Uh, but yeah, we should, uh, I think, also put label need updates uh, on it and uh, try to verify the correct flow. Just in case if someone uh, will want to take this issue to work, we that need update. Okay, thank you. That's all from my side for today. Okay, thank you, Alexi. Thank you guys for joining. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.